What up, Pokemon peeps? How are you? I'm back, as you can see, and I'm going to try my best to give you another Spooky Thursday video. Now, if you're new here, hi, my name is Zicky. I attempt to put new videos out every Thursday. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes my laptop decides not to work. Blah, blah, blah. So, anyway. If you want to hear more of these goofy stories and learn with me as I am, I guess, or we can learn together. I'm, I still don't know how to edit, so <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> so anyway, oh, air. Oh, there's that. There we go. <sighs> it's just been, <laughs> you don't even want to know. Anyway. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and you want to keep seeing new videos. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you know when I put out new videos. So, anyway, I have a little bit of a story for you. This is called, this is the story of the, let's see, what's it called? The Big Bay Point Lighthouse. It's located approximately about 25 miles northwest of Marquette in the small town of Big Bay. Here, I'll look here some. And a few, a few streets comprised of a, churches, a motel, and the Thunder Bay Inn. And let's see here. Okay. Depot. Bought by Henry Ford in about the 1940s, and that's the function now. Now it serves as a hotel and restaurant. Are the few attractions that basically make up about make up the village. This you know setting. So anyway, let's see here. Jumping down to the north. Plenty article going down to the northeast of the town on the shores of Lake Superior is Big Bay Point, where obviously Big Bay Point Lighthouse, built in 1869, stands on its own. The, the first lighthouse keeper, William Pryor, was a bit of an ornery and hardworking keeper of the light and was a bit of a perfectionist as well when it came to the duties of tending the lighthouse ground lighthouse and the grounds. Oh say ha 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 uh writing down in his log book prior complained of the incompetence and weak work ethic of the many assistant keepers of the light. Eventually Pryor's son took on the job of the assistant light keeper even knowing how his father was tough to work with due to his stubbornness, all that. Um, let's see here. And his quick temper. This brought the sense of fear in Pryor's son. One day, Pryor's son was working on the pier on the north side of the point, taking a fall. Yeah, taking a false step, he has he lost his balance and fell onto the concrete, cracking his shin bone and cutting himself. Hello! Afraid to tell his ornery dad of what happened, he continued, he just went on working hard. Working hard. Oh, hey! Huh. Oh, he continued working hard, keeping up on the grounds as his father would have wished. It wasn't long before a gang green set in and his, the son fell brutally ill with no clear trails or roads and big boy big boy big bay at the time uh the fastest way to market to receive medical assistance was by robo. So William rode fearlessly to Marquette with all he could to save his ill son, but by the time he did that, it was unfortunately too late, and his son passed away in a rowboat before he could reach shore. 
funeral was scheduled for William's son the following day, but it was not enough to bury the growing sorrow in Miss Fryer, who unfortunately returning to the returning the big day the following day and falling further into a deeper depression he left a note on the table for Jenny Beaver, the wife of another assistant lightkeeper. The note said, er, note, note read, and I quote, Jenny, that's it. I'm taking a gun and signing into the woods. Goodbye. There goes that uncle. There goes that Jenny, who was no stranger to Mr. Pryor's orneriness, personally, um, Owner personality happened upon him in the woods debating what weapon to use gun or cyanide, cyanide or gun. Jenny, who this just happened so or just so happened to have a length of rope with her in her hand, approached him and, at, and said, Oh, and I quote, Oh, well, I'm having a problem of a solution. Stand on this basket and take the rope around your neck and we'll make this quick and easy. Unquote. What? My God. So two years later, uh, Walker came across the head of Mr. Pryor hanging from a maple table two miles into the woods from the lighthouse to this day. Reports from visitors saying Staying at the lighthouse, or Big Bay Point Lighthouse, bed and breakfast are woken by the woken by the ghost of an elderly groundskeeper with close guard attire and a thick red mustache standing at the foot of their bed in the middle of the night. Nonetheless, one minute he's there, next gone, poof, disappearing to the walls of the lighthouse. That is messed up. Oh my god. So sad. What do you guys think? You know, I'll leave all the info be in the description box so you guys can see it. And let me know what you think. Do you have any other spooky paranormal, paranormal, paranormal stories? Let me know. Like I said, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Google Plus. And of course here. Uh, like. Give this video a like if you like spooky date mm -hmm. you like these paranormal type videos and let me know what you think um again thanks for hanging out with me and a grumpy pug over here and also remember just because october's over does not mean the spook isn't until next time bye